The results are in, and some say it's a relief. The urinals in downtown Victoria are staying, and more will be installed. After a year-long pilot project, City Council says the presence of the urinals didn't upset people. In fact, Council says feedback has been very positive. But as A News reporter Louise Hartland shows us, some changes will be made. It's like France. Yeah, France. You know, are we in France? It's a unisex bathroom that you can see straight through. It's great. Nope. We're at the corner of Government and Pandora in downtown Victoria. And City Council says the people of Victoria agree. They are great. Soon, two more of these will be installed in the city with some changes. Uh, although 95% of the problem is males um, urinating outside, that there's also an interest to, to make it available in use for women. To make the urinals more female friendly, council is considering adding a locking gate and adjusting the bowl to make it easier and safer for women to use. The report addresses safety concerns for women with the new design if someone follows them in and locks the door. A door certainly allows an opportunity for restricting access of other people coming in, but it still has that visual element where you can see what's happening in and around uh, the urinal. In other words, you'll still be able to see in and it will be open air. Um, we, it should be friendly for both sexes and if they're going to put a lock in there, the fact that it's still open air and uh, people can see uh, who's in there and they could hear if someone's in trouble, uh, I think it would reduce significantly the chances that uh, it would be a danger for a woman to use it. The Victoria Police Department says female rights isn't the only reason for the new urinals. Oh, it is a very uh, growing concern. People think it's a minor issue, but for business owners and the damage you can do to doorways, uh, those are very serious uh, concerns, cost issues for businesses too. Police say the outdoor washrooms have made a real difference, especially after the bars close. And the department isn't concerned drug use and dealing will increase because of the new additions. City Council will decide on new locations by September, but says Bastion Square and the area around the View Street Parkade are spots it's considering. In Victoria, Louise Hartland, A News. The city collected some interesting statistics over the past year. An estimated 30,000 people have used the urinals so far, and the city says it's collected 15,000 litres of urine.